Ontario's largest infrastructure project is currently underway on the Bruce site to refurbish Units 1 and 2 at Bruce A. The project is a multi-year, multi-billion dollar initiative employing thousands of people with the goal of extending the life of these units for another 25 years. This involves replacing and upgrading of certain components of the power station. Some of the largest parts that need replacing are the steam generators. Steam generators use heat generated in the nuclear reactor to make the steam that spins the turbines and generates electricity. Each steam generator consists of hundreds of small tubes inside a large 2-inch thick steel shell. Steam generators are not directly exposed to the nuclear reactor, but become radioactive over their 25-year lifetime because of the small levels of radioactivity in the hot water circulating through them. As a result, they are considered low-level radioactive waste. While we replace these large components when refurbishing the reactors, we also believe we have a responsibility to minimize the amount of waste we produce, reducing our environmental footprint and the need for long-term waste storage. That's why we have a plan to recycle 90% of the steel in the steam generators so that the volume of low-level waste that has to be stored is reduced. Each steam generator weighs almost 100 tons and is about the size of a highway transport trailer. Before they are removed, the steam generators are drained of all water and are confirmed to be free of any radioactivity on their surface. Following the removal of each old steam generator, the steel shell is completely sealed by permanently welding steel plates over all openings. The sealed shell is classified as low-level radioactive waste because the tubes inside the shell have a scale deposit that contains some radioactivity. This radioactivity is so low that while transporting them, there will be virtually no exposure to any member of the public. Sixteen steam generators have been removed from Bruce A and replaced with new ones. The new steam generators were manufactured in Cambridge, Ontario by Babcock and Wilcox Canada and, like the ones we will be recycling, were transported safely to Bruce Power along Ontario roads. After being welded shut, each steam generator was transported by special truck to the Western Waste Management Facility on the Bruce Power site. The 16 steel shells are currently stored inside a large industrial building. Their total volume is approximately 1,500 cubic meters. They have been stored in this way since 2008. To ensure that they don't rust and are completely free of any dust, each steam generator was painted in 2010 with a special paint that is also suitable for transport. At some point in the future, the steam generators will have to be removed from the storage building and permanently disposed of. Alternatively, some way of decontaminating and recycling them needs to be found. Bruce Power identified the opportunity to process and recycle the steel from the steam generators at a world-class recycling facility in Europe. Unfortunately, no such facility is available in Canada. This recycling technology and opportunity was not available five years ago when the 16 steam generators were removed from Bruce A. However, when this opportunity presented itself, Bruce Power altered its plans to take advantage of this new, innovative facility. Bruce Power's recycling plan consists of the following. 1. Because of their size and weight, the steam generators will be transported by road to the port of Owen Sound for loading onto a ship. 2. From Owen Sound, the steam generators will be transported in a dedicated ship to the recycling facility harbor in Sweden. 3. In Sweden, the steam generators will be decontaminated and separated so that most of the steel can be recycled and the low-level waste repackaged. 4. The 10% which cannot be recycled will be packaged for return to Bruce Power inside licensed steel ISO shipping containers, similar to the ones you see on the highway and rail every day. The recycling company, Stutzvik, has more than 60 years' experience in the nuclear industry and has pioneered the process for safely recycling metal components from nuclear power plants. No radioactive material will be left in Sweden. The 10% of low-level waste returned to Bruce Power will be stored along with other waste from Ontario's nuclear power plants at the Western Waste Management Facility. To ensure safe transportation of these one-of-a-kind items, a license is required from the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. The steam generator recycling plan must also comply with extensive provincial, 
federal, and international shipping regulations designed to make sure the public and the environment are protected from danger. This includes requirements of the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission, Transport Canada, Ontario Ministry of Transport, Ontario Provincial Police, the St. Lawrence Seaway Management Corporation, the St. Lawrence Seaway Development Corporation, and the International Maritime Organization. In addition, all stages of transport must comply with guidance provided by the International Atomic Energy Agency. These same regulations are applied to thousands of shipments, including the shipment of nuclear substances, that are transported on Ontario roads, the Great Lakes, and the St. Lawrence Seaway each year. The road transportation route being considered includes the approximately 120 kilometers between Bruce Power and Owen Sound. The actual route details are still being assessed to ensure the minimum disruption to other road users and local residents. Once the steam generators are loaded onto the ship in the port of Owen Sound, the ship will transit the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence Seaway, including the Welland Canal, to the Atlantic Ocean. The ship will follow established safe routes through the Great Lakes and Seaway. The journey to Sweden is expected to take approximately three weeks. In Sweden, the steam generators will be offloaded and moved to the recycling facility immediately after docking at the Studvik Recycling Facility Harbor. Bruce Power and many experts both within and outside of the nuclear industry are confident that this recycling plan can be carried out safely. These experts include staff from the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission and highway engineers from Bruce and Gray counties. In addition, many informed commentators have agreed that Bruce Power's plan is safe and responsible. The purpose of this website is to give you the facts on our recycling plan. We believe reducing the amount of low-level waste and recycling the steel steam generator shells is the right thing to do. Our aim is to present the facts and allow you to make up your own mind. Once you have the facts, we are sure you will agree that reducing the volume of low-level waste by recycling the steam generators is the right thing to do.